COVID-19 outbreak, which originated from Wuhan in China, has ravaged Nigeria, claiming the lives of citizens, including prominent personalities, especially politicians. About 1,278 persons are said to have died in the country from the disease. Nigeria has recorded over 86,576 cases and 73,322 people have been discharged. According to the Nigeria Center for Disease Control daily updates. After almost eight months of total lockdown, the restriction was eased as citizens went back to their normal lives. However, this didn't mean that the coronavirus no longer existed. The government tried its best to salvage the situation and contain the spread of the disease, but this has yielded many results. Unfortunately, there has been a spike in the number of cases in Nigeria since early December. Taking this into consideration, the governor of Lagos State, Babajide Sonwolu, announced new restrictions in an attempt to prevent the second wave of infection from spreading rapidly in the state. Let's not forget that the governor also contracted the disease. The virus doesn't look at faces as it affects both the rich and poor. Information Nigeria has compiled the names of five politicians who succumbed to the deadly disease. Abakari, Joining the list of notable figures that are falling victim to the deadly disease is Abakari, the chief of staff of Nigeria's president, Muhammad Buhari. He passed away on April 17th at the age of 67 at the first cardiology consultant, a private hospital situated in the Koi area of Lagos State. Kiari first tested positive for COVID-19 on March 24th. Unfortunately, he died from complications from the coronavirus the Lagos state government revealed. He was buried at Udu Cemetery in Abuja on April 18th. There were controversies surrounding his burial as senior government officials who were present at the event were rebuked by medical officials and health workers for not practicing social distancing. Adebayo Sikiru Oshinowo My name is uh, Senator Bayo Oshinowo. I represent uh, Lagos in Senatorial District. Senator Adebayo Sikiru Oshinowo, also known as Peperito, died of coronavirus at the same hospital where Kiari died. Oshinowo, who represented the Lagos East Senatorial Constituency at the National Assembly, passed away on June 15th at the age of 64. He was buried the same day at his Abuja residence. The Senate held a valedictory session in his honor, where his colleagues observed the one-minute silence and prayed for the repose of his soul. The lawmakers also praised him for his immense contribution to the development of the country's democracy. Abiola Ajumobi On June 25th, the immediate past governor of Oyo State, Senator Abiola Ajumobi, died from COVID-19 complications. He was 70. Ajimobi was admitted to first cardiologist and cardiovascular consultant hospital in Lagos after sleeping into coma. He, however, passed away. He is survived by his wife and five children. Ajimobi was declared as the acting chairman of the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, while he was battling with the virus. Buruji Kashamu. The Nigerian politician from Ijebu East Senatorial District also succumbed to the coronavirus disease. He died in Lagos on August 8, 2020, as a result of complications caused by COVID 19. He was 62 years old. Kashamu served as a senator representing Ogun East 
in the 8th National Assembly. His friend and former colleague in the Senate, Ben Murray Bruce, shared the news of his death online. He was the third politician and high-profile Nigerian to die of COVID-19 complications at First Cardiology Hospital in Lagos. Femi Odekunle Mr. Odekunle, a professor of criminology and member of the Presidential Advisory Committee Against Corruption, PACAC, died 12 days after contracting COVID-19. According to reports, family and close associates claimed that Odekunle was gasping for air due to shortage in oxygen supply at the isolation center inside Abuja University Teaching Hospital, Guagualada, where he died on Tuesday evening. He was the first Nigerian professor of criminology. Former Vice President Atiku Abibaka had described the untimely demise of Odekunle as a huge loss. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and check out our channel for more interesting videos. Thanks for watching and see you on our next video.